let's have a look at the sampling methods and the evaluation of that. So a reminder for you, sampling methods, we want to know whether or not the data was randomly selected. If the data was randomly selected, then that is going to give us a representative sample, which has a mixture of all the different characteristics. Okay, like having a mixture of different lollies, being different mixture of if it was people, their heights, their ages, their ethnicities, their lifestyle, their family income, their all the things that make us who we are. So a random method, things like simple random sampling, or stratified, um, or systematic sampling, those will all give us a representative sample. However, any kind of bias method, so if I did, for example, a convenience method, if I did a self-selected or random, either, um, sorry, voluntary, um, volunteers, then that will give me a bias sample, which will not give me that representation. So we want to identify what method we're gonna has been used in order to be able to find out more information and evaluate it. So in the information about the survey, the first part just tells us that it was a face-to-face, -face, that it was New Zealanders 15 years and older, um, they told us our response rate, then they've given us a couple of bits in the bottom here. So there's one bit they've said that the data has been weighted to ensure they're representative of New Zealand population. So that's implying that in terms of the ethnic groups and the gender groups, that that would be proportional to the New Zealand population. And then they've given us some information there that if we wanted to go into the methodology in more detail, we could search that up further. So we don't actually know what the sampling method is. Okay, so that's the first thing that we, we want to say. Um, the sampling method is not stated. Okay. But we have been told that they were, the data was weighted to ensure that they are represented. Okay, so the data was weighted to ensure that it is representative. Of New Zealand. Okay. So we need to now do an evaluation. So the first thing we're going to evaluate is that we don't actually know what the method is. And if it wasn't a random method, we can't tell for sure whether it's representative or not. Okay? So not knowing whether a random method was used means that we cannot be sure that the data is representative of New Zealanders as only no I don't need to write that okay okay a bias method e.g. convenience would not give representative data okay so now that's the first part of the evaluation now I want to take the other side of the, the talk about here where it talks about the data was weighted so when they weight data, what that means is that the, um, the data in each gender, age group, and ethnicity will be proportional to the New Zealand population, which is a good thing. Okay, the 
this is a good thing as it ensures that all age groups, ethnicities and genders are um, covered. Okay, and there's our valuation.